a live steam test of the old 1896 engine. This is part 14 of the series. Recently I completed the building of a Stuart 10H steam engine and gave it a live steam test using my boiler plant. I thought it was a good idea to also steam test this old engine. Steam blows from where the piston rod gland should be, but that was the way it was made with the dummy piston rod gland. The engine runs very well on steam despite the leak. This video shares some common footage with the test on the Stuart 10H, but please keep watching, it's different to the 10H test. Health and safety. Always hold a naked flame over the chimney before opening the gas valve, and before that, open the window. And with any model steam boiler that's gas fired, when you first turn on the gas, don't turn it on full. You don't want to suddenly hit the boiler with a vast amount of heat. Try and warm it up slowly to start with. This boiler is 6 inches in diameter and has twin gas flues, and it does generate a lot of heat. Slowly but surely, the water gets hot inside the boiler and starts to boil. What I'm doing here is opening the blowdown valve on the water gauge to release some water from the boiler. I'm not releasing much, but with less water it should raise steam quicker. This footage was recorded after I'd done the steam test on the 10H. That was successful by the way. I'm applying plenty of oil to all of the moving parts. The cylinder oil is coming from a displacement lubricator which is in the steam circuit from the boiler. Here, before opening the steam valve, I'm rotating the engine. Then I gently open the steam valve. The first steam that hits the cylinder condenses to water, and quite a lot of it squirts out of where the gland should be. No need for cylinder drains on this engine, it's got one built in. I've really enjoyed repairing this engine as sympathetically as possible, but I could not bring myself to make a proper gland for the steam cylinder, because there was never one fitted in the first place it's just a dummy nut soldered on. This engine runs very well on compressed air, so there's no reason why it shouldn't run very well on steam. It's a bit reluctant to start, but to be fair, I haven't opened the steam valve very much. And as soon as the water clears from the cylinder, it starts to run, and it runs very well. Time to stop talking for a while, so you can both see and hear the sound of the engine. I'm purposely running this engine at a very high speed to make sure that it doesn't break. And it doesn't, it works well. That is except for the piston rod gland which is blowing very badly as you can see. Time for a bit of slow motion. I was very pleased to see that my displacement lubricator is providing more than enough steam oil for the lubrication of the cylinder. And most of it seems to be all over the bed plate, but never mind, you can't have everything. At least the steel parts aren't going to go rusty. 
I thought it would be a good idea to put the 10H into the mix and run both the engines at the same time. And here we have the two engines, one completed in 1896 and the other one completed about 10 minutes ago. These are only small engines and the boiler is quite large and the water level is very stable in the glass. I did have to refill it but only once during the entire test. This is the after run sequence. The boiler plant is now turned off and out of the way. I'm running the engine on compressed air and injecting some steam oil. Even though the cylinder and the steam chest are made from brass, it's a good idea to inject some oil in to stop anything to do with the valve from rusting. The piston rod and valve spindle are both made from steel. This engine is very messy. It won't be too bad running on compressed air, but on steam it is very messy indeed. And here I'm using a piece of kitchen towel and a toothbrush to clean off all the oil and water. Messy it may be, but it's very good and I like it a lot. And that concludes the old steam engine from 1896 series. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists and by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch and by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.